Hello, my name is Andrei. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll show how to run and scale fast API application on Kubernetes infrastructure. Let's go. So, uh, example will be based on our open source product called Skipper, which is um, ML ops uh, product. Um, that helps to run ML microservices, but it's not limited for ML. Basically, you could run any uh, services if you want. And we're using FastAPI to implement uh, REST uh, endpoint. And uh, you could run this uh, product either on directly using Python virtual environment on your own infrastructure. Uh, you could run uh, it, uh, using uh, Docker containers, or you could run it on Kubernetes infrastructure, either on premise or on cloud. And all the configuration steps and scripts are included, uh, together with sample um, microservices for ML uh, data processing, for model training and model serving, and ML runs on, on top of TensorFlow. So today, um, let's see how we could scale fast API application uh, which uh, is, helps to expose REST um, endpoint to the outside. And specifically, we'll be running uh, running it on uh, Kubernetes. I'm, I'm running it for this uh, um, example on my local uh, Kubernetes infrastructure on Docker. Uh, yeah, so it runs uh, everything on my machine, but the same thing can run on, on cloud. And uh, we already tested it runs just fine on any cloud provider like uh, Google or Amazon or Microsoft or Oracle. Okay, so focus of today is uh, fast API. And uh, when running on Kubernetes, we're using uh, Nginx Ingress controller to expose um, a pod with fast API to the outside. And uh, we yeah, will try uh, just to scale a uh, port with fast API to multiple instances and see how it behaves and how quick uh, this is done and uh, uh, how convenient this is. Uh, so you could scale uh, yourself on your own infrastructure. Okay, and today yeah, we'll use basically this uh, these two commands. The first one, uh, it allows to scale uh, any port. Specifically, in our case, we are uh, looking into the uh, skipper API port, which runs fast API. I will scale it to two instances and then we'll print out the logs and we'll, we'll see that when a request is coming, then first request will be handled by uh, first instance of the port and second request will be handled by the second instance of the port. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see. Uh, first, let's see what uh, infrastructure is uh, up and running on my machine. For that, let's go to the uh, command prompt and get let's get the list of ports. So we have these ports running, and today we're looking into the API port. This is the one; uh, it's up and running. Fine, and let's print out the logs uh, for this port in this way, and let's copy the port name. Okay, and we copy paste it over here to print out the log uh, to see whatever happens in that pod. Okay, so we can see that API is up and running and there's a health check um, created for API pod, which um, pings the API uh, after uh, uh, equal intervals of time. And we see that response is uh, correct. Okay, so let's uh, go to the uh, list of endpoints and from here let's run a uh, training request. Okay, we don't need uh, data for training and payload should be uh, 0 0.2 and let's let's name this request as a sample training and we execute. Okay, as a response, we get ID uh, of this job because training uh, usually takes time and this is uh, asynchronous request. 
And yeah, by the way, uh, in my previous videos, and I'll put a link to, to the previous video, I explain how you actually can run fast API with Nginx controller on a Kubernetes infrastructure. There I, I describe it step by step in my another video. Okay, so by now training task should be completed. We can uh, check this in uh, for another endpoint. It says completed. And by the way, we can um, check the log and we can see that uh, our requests are Requests are handled by, by this port, uh, lock is printed out. Okay, and then let's uh, check that model is up and running. Let's execute sample predict task. So, okay, we don't have the payload here. And let's say this is, um, let's call it sample predict. And let's clean uh, the lock and we execute. Task, it's the wrong task type, that's correct, because we have validation uh, for our endpoints and we are calling now serving task. We execute and get back the result, these numbers that are determined by the model for forecast for the house price and um, price tax ratio for the house based on the input parameters. Okay, and we can see from the log that uh, request is handled fine and uh, it's being um, processed as expected. Okay, so now let's uh, close it and let's print again number of ports. So we have uh, one port for the API and now let's do one thing, let's scale. Uh, let's scale the API port uh, to multiple instances to two instances like that and instantly uh, the port gets scaled and we instantly get another port another instance of the uh, another port instance is available and now we got two separate uh, ports uh, that handle our uh, rest endpoints with fast api now, of course, I run it all on my machine. It's a single node. So uh, even I created a second port, it still runs on the same hardware, on the same machine. But if you would run it on a cluster of machines on the cloud, and there you can have multiple nodes. And when you would uh, create, scale your port to multiple instances, those uh, ports would uh, be uh, distributed to different nodes. And this means if you have high load, then this load will be distributed uh, between separate machines and this this clustering it happens automatically and since we're using nginx and grass controller in front of the uh, fast api port uh, then all the traffic that comes is being routed uh, in a round robin fashion out of the box uh, across all the uh, different ports that are running and let's see um, how it actually works so let's uh, open uh, Let's open the same the log for the port that uh, we were accessing before, and then in another uh, common prompt window, let's um, copy the command which helps to print out the log, and now let's copy uh, ID of the port that we just created. This one. This is the new port. It was created four seconds ago, it prints out, uh, so this is the latest one. Okay, so we copy it and here we clean the lock and let's go and uh, replace uh, replace the name of the first port with the second one which was uh, created just now. Okay, and we can see that uh, fast API is automatically started when this port was uh, provisioned, uh, we don't need to do anything extra this fine so let's clean the lock as well now we, we got uh, two two uh, two different we get locks for the two different port instances uh, all of them there's no lock empty and let's execute uh, one task and it gets uh, it's it's, it's this, this request is handled by the second port okay and let's uh, execute one more time uh, this time it's handled by the first one, so it goes in a round robin, and if you do the one more time, third time, 
it will be handled by the second one. Okay, so this is um, uh, how it works. And yeah, my, my goal was to show that uh, once you have fast API application with the REST endpoints and you're running your own Kubernetes uh, infrastructure, it's really easy to scale it up or down. Uh, and uh, you can also use auto scaling on Kubernetes and depending on the load, when you run it on cluster or, and on cloud, um, you can handle different loads uh, dynamically. So thanks for watching. If you have got any questions, please um, uh, write a comment below the video. Once I will see the question, I'll be happy to answer and will be more than happy to help you. Thanks and uh, stay tuned. See you next time. Bye.